Well, folks, we're in the home stretch. What we have to do now is we have to hook the four leads that we have coming out of the side of the welder to the four terminals on the bridge rectifier. I have done my best to try and get a camera angle that's going to capture this. Hopefully, you'll be able to see what's going on. I'm going to have to stand the side of this thing up to actually make the attachments. Before I do that, though, I want to go over one last time what exactly we're hooking up here. These are the two AC leads coming from the transformer. Because AC has no polarity, that's sort of the whole point of this project, it does not matter which one of these two leads we hook to which one of these two terminals. Either one is either one. I'm going to hook them up, you know, this one to here and this one to here just because that's kind of naturally the way this heavy wire fell and I don't want to have to bend it any more than is necessary. However, the black and white leads do have a polarity. The white lead is the one that we hooked up to our ground clamp. And so it needs to go onto this front terminal, this positive terminal, so that we end up with the minus negative going to the torch and therefore DC electrode negative for our welding process. Simple screws, lock washers, nuts. I have number eight hardware, fits nicely through the holes in the terminals on the rectifier. Uh, quarter inch would have been fine, half inch was the shortest thing I had laying around. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna run them this way or that way or whatever, I'll just have to play with it and see what makes sense. Um, so let me go ahead and stand this up and put these things together and hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on. Worst case scenario, I'll get a nice detailed still shot of it once it's all put together. So starting down here at the bottom, I'm gonna run a screw through this AC lead through the terminal on the bridge rectifier. We'll get a lock washer on there. And the nut. I'm gonna clamp these down tight, impact driver tight, because I want a really good solid connection between these things, and obviously I don't want them running around on me. So let's go ahead and put this one through as well. Get the lock washer on it. Get the nut started. Now even though my plan is to really crank these things down tight, I'm not going to do it until I've got the hardware on all four of them so that I have as much flexibility as possible. Now let's move on and let's do the two where the polarity matters. I'm going to start with the black wire. This is the one we ran to the minus side or negative side of the capacitor and on out the torch so that we're going to end up with DC electrode negative welding. It is very, very important that you get this hooked up to the terminal marked minus on the bridge rectifier. Not only would you not get the kind of welding that you want if you got these backwards, but you would most likely blow up that capacitor. Electrolytics really don't like to be hooked up backwards. So finally, we'll get the white one, run the bolt through it, and again, triple check, make sure we're on the positive side of the bridge rectifier before you go tightening this down or turning it on. Okay, there's four of them finger tight. All that's left to do is put the spurs to it. And voila, four connections to the bridge rectifier, very solid, those are not going anywhere. Electrically, they're as good as anything else we're likely to do. Uh, at this point, what we gotta do is we gotta get the side of the welder back on the welder. So I'm gonna have to go around the other side and 
pull these wires in and bend them and fold them and make sure that nothing runs into anything else. And then we'll be pretty much done. We'll be ready to give this thing a test.